Hello and welcome to Stormosa here, and this will be part three. In the previous episode, we spoke to Lady Sasani, who um, instructed us on how we could potentially help her, and we got to experience a uh, trek into the Overland map. I would say yes. So let us uh, head back out and carry on towards our destination. I wouldn't mind bumping into a, a thingy on the way, but uh, we'll see. Okay, apparently level up. Oh, oh we got an. Uh, we must have gotten an experience bonus for um, solving the encounter beyond the experience bonus for beating the encounter. Hmm. Quite Empress That sounds interesting. Should we go over and see what he is on about? Uh, okay, uh, there seems to be some icon problems here. Um, I'm using a mod to make the font more readable on a modern system. Because, of course, the game was not made for those kind of resolutions, and apparently it appears that uh, certain icons are a bit out of whack, which I do apologize about. Um, hmm, leave me be a small one, unless I grind you beneath my first heal. Got anything else? Ending. No? No. Oh well, apparently not. So. Can we know from here? I believe so. We can, I say. This is uh, likely requiring some um, editing thing because it's a bit uh, convoluted with certain of the characters. The Paladin should be a non issue though, so let's level him up. He's going to remain being a paladin, and he's going to level up his four skills that he's got available. Ding. Smite evil, hooray! Yes. Or cleric, level up. Going to be a cleric. And concentration, diplomacy, and spellcraft. Her only three skills, as he's going to be capping out. But of course, because they are not level 5, uh, the castles have access to those three spots. Yes. Wizard, level up. And he's going to be a wizard. And I'm going to level up his skills. He has one, uh, he has two skill points spare because he's gained intellect in between, so he's getting an extra skill point. I just need to double check something. I know it's very early on to get a craft magic arms and armor, but uh, I would rather make use of uh, that feat early on in the game. It basically allows you to enchant items. So he's going to have that feat now. And then of course you can run some little sweet balls. If I hit recommend it will say fireball and haste. We got fireballs to score, so we don't want that. Haste. It's always nice to have. I do like slow as well. Uh, let's get haste and slow for that. No. Okay. Cool. And then yes. we have the Rogue. The Rogue is going to alternate uh, Rogue and Fighter levels, so it's going to be the Rogue levels now, and this is going to be a bit wonky because of skill point allocation. Um, this is going to be the most annoying one to level up because, uh, yeah, I will have to double check my tables for this character to make sure that I put the skills to the right places. So, um, Leveling him up as a rogue is a given. And now we come to the skills, and I have to double check that I'm doing this right. Two points here. One point there, two points there. Come on. Two points there. One point there. Two there. Two there. 
and one point there and there yes use magic device will have to wait for a while um it's going to be an incredibly convoluted way of uh, assigning skill points as a set for a bit just a wee double checking cool so with that out of the way we can now move on and unpause the game with him as a party leader and go down to the shipwreck. This cove contains the wreck of the Vigilant, the ship that brought you to Samarach. Enter the cove. And immediately pause because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's some hostiles nearby. And a uh, rogue friend has a bad habit of uh, charging in. I didn't get to memorize any spells right now, but you know what? It can wait. We're good. We're good for the moment. Okay. So. Can you describe that one and stuff for burning it? Are we good? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, poof. I could do that. You can do that. Cool. Good to hear. So we got a hostile over there. Um, I hate the AI in this game. Oh, <laughs> it's definitely artificial. I don't know if it's intelligence. Um, sometimes your characters they have. I mean, there's no reason to echo on these peasants over there. I was about to say, which is a bit rude, but the rogue just charges in, completely oblivious to his own safety. It is embarrassingly poor. Time Come on. Uh, I, 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 are you done being a hero? So, we had to uh, get on some stuff here. I'll try to be systematic about this. As systematic as my uh, fellow party members will allow me to be. Cargo. So, we had the general update. Events to find a suitable amount of cargo from this shipwreck, so Sonny will likely be pleased at your progress. But I mean, there's a lot more boxes about this is just a tutorial kind of task thing. So let's get some more. There are different types of cargoes you can pick up. You can pick up ores and timber and that kind of stuff. But you can also find rare ores and things like that. So there's a bit of everything to discover, find and all that good stuff. Dinosaur claw. Okay. Some cargo. This wants to be more hostile, so let's just clear them out, shall we? Abati! Give me station. Bona part. Let us hold up on it. See what I mean? The rogue is just going in like a complete idiot. Okay, if I can get behind and attack them from the front, hopefully draw their attention so the rogue is be, will be allowed to backstab them. This is called sneak attack, of course. No? There's a hostile something 400 yards away, but no, 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 we're in a good fighting mood, so let's... I hate this AI. I hate it! I'll break your bloody legs, you dumb dumb. Stand do still. And don't let up. I don't know what the detection range for. 
Look over there. I mean, there are hundreds of miles away. Okay, you know what? You 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 stay here, right? And I have to disable the AI right now. This is getting annoying. I could do that. Good. Can I be allowed to decide what we're doing? Not doing. Thank you very much. So hopefully that will reset it. Probably not. Okay, because I've used the global thing to... Okay, I want puppet mode on for the Paladin at all times. Annoying. So... Our cleric friend decided that it was a good idea to attack them and miss, and then of course the rogue is running in like an idiot, getting himself eaten, punched, shot, sapped, devoted, I don't know, machine kicked. Are you using your crossbow against these guys? No you're not. Have you got it equipped? You should have. No, you haven't, because that would be clever. Can 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 you equip this one, please? Thank you. Damnation! Damnation, indeed. No old gameplay, always good fun. Can you please, for the love of anything that's We've good got and pure, over here. stop, you dumb dumb. I hate this AI. It is so incredibly poor. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. This load is a Of course, the cars have failed his saving throw against poison. I've only won. It uh, happens so often. I, I'm not going to spend a place who complain about it again. But this is so incredibly annoying. And because of course he keeps going into bloody combat, I can't get out of combat so I can take 20 on my bloody healing kit so I can actually heal. Because that would be clever, wouldn't it? My oh god, I hate this crap. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> That's it for you. Take that. They are on the other end of the bloody continent. It's so dumb. It is so incredibly dumb. Whoever programmed the uh, uh, NPC or PC AI in this game should uh, get another job. It's not particularly good at what he was doing, or she was doing with that model. I'm sorry to say. I don't like to be rude towards other people, but the uh, uh, decision making in this game is absolutely garbage. From uh, NPC or non-controlled player characters. The yeah, accuracy is extreme. I was just... And of course, he's currently uh, bleeding out, which um, is an issue. But uh, we have got uh, Leon Hans, so hopefully that can bring him back up to standing on his feet. Thank you. And then I can use a healing kit on this guy to hopefully cure the effect. Now, of course, he resisted the poison, so I got the downside effects, the strength and movement. Well, the movement speed is a drop because his strength has decreased, which could have been avoided. If the character didn't roll one. Yeah. Anyway, he's going to be slowed down for a while. We are going to get this car though. It's going to be incredibly annoying. 
But it is what it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That is the downside to poisons, and this is why poisons are so incredibly annoying. We have a broken weapon here. This weapon is snapped in half, lying sh shattered and useless on the sand. Craft weapon thoroughly, examine the spear. Let's just let him do it. You can tell that someone weakened the haft of the spear wearing away at the wood underneath the weapon's grip and causing it to snap. This was no accident. Make a note of it. And then we have unnerving ev evidence even. You found a piece of suspicious evidence that Sasani might be interested in and have noted it. At least one other solid piece of evidence will probably be enough to satisfy her investors. Okie dokie. Lovely. And of course this is an area where we can't invest by default. Which is, um, again, lovely, lovely. So, um, it's not going to last long enough at uh, this moment. Hmm, we didn't get any antidotes by chance, did we? Surely by chance, that would have been good. I would say yes. Yes? Yes. No. I believe so. I mean, I could hand some of this. Uh... That's one way of doing it, of course, being clever. I forgot to vendor the green axe, so. I have little use for running around with a green axe. Viking. The viking of this ship is snapped and hangs loose in several places. Do you wish to take a closer look? Look at for the stick. Thoroughly examine the wicking. The rope has been frayed before breaking, and the outside of the strands has a clean cut to them, unlike the others. Someone meant for this rope to break. Make a note of it. And then we have another update. We found two solid pieces of evidence. If he wants to stop searching, Sasani will likely be satisfied with your result. However, there might likely be another couple pieces of evidence scattered around the area. So, let us see how much cargo we've got, because I know how much is supposed to be here. 5 out of 10. Okay. Cool. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. Then we can loot these things here. Hold on. It's going to double check, triple check, and what about else for oh, more crates? Ship's hall. The hall of the ship seems slightly strange. Do we switch somewhere further? Mm. Cross alchemy. Thoroughly examine the corrosion on the hull. It's clear that to you that someone employed an chemical compound to weaken the wood against impact. This was definitely a deliberate act. Make a note of it. Well, so now, someone wanted the ship want? wood to be weakened, so when it went into something, it would break apart. Lovely. We have one more piece of evidence together. And that should be... Oh, I forgot to check these. We got loot boxes, we can't ignore them, can we? Weapon rack. Spear, cool. More cargo. Yet more cargo. Hopefully that doesn't uh, weigh everything. Was that... I'm fairly sure there's supposed to be 8 here, so I just want to double check. Yeah well, there should be a box here somewhere. 
I'll locate her eventually. Corpse. Body of the sailor lies suspiciously on the beach, half covered in sand. We will examine it further. Mm, examine the body. There's something suspicious about the sailor. He's too far up on the shore to have been washed here after drowning, and no weapon has marked his body. He must have died after arriving, but not because of the battery. Make a note of it. You feel you've collected all the evidence that is in the area, you should return to Zalzani to hand in your report. Okay. I just want to... I'm fairly sure that's supposed to be 8 crates here. Maybe it was only 7, I don't know. Just going to do a simple double check more. Measure twice, cut once, and all that kind of stuff. Don't like leaving anything behind. Was that bit on there? It appears to be everything. Um, this is a locked area we can't get into. So uh, I'm not going to waste time on it now. Up until this point is where I played to get a feeling for if it was something I could uh, want to do something out of. By making a video series of it, and uh, yeah. So we need to head back to Sasani. The problem is there is um, quite a bit of dialogue going on when we go back. So what I think we will do is we will head back to the capital city after a quick save to make absolutely sure we have no surprises on the way. Did I mention something about Oh, quick saving in case something happened and uh, as soon as we left this area, unfortunately a bunch of level 8s decided they want to play catch and even more unfortunately they caught us, which is rather not good. So let us hope we can get out without any further incidents. Yes? Come on, please. Move, 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 move. Cool. So what we will do is we will move back to the town. And then I will call it an episode. And then when we come back, um, we will go and speak to Lady Sasani and give her an update on what we have achieved. Hmm, what do you say? An ancient trap sits here half buried in the ground. Where? Where? Oh, trap. Cool. Um, and so the bazaar. Let the party lead, please. He's the party leader after all. Because of the nature of this game, I am going to uh, let this series run Tuesdays and Thursdays to make sure to uh, get through it at a somewhat decent pace. But uh, as I said, I'll end this part here. When we come back, we need to speak to Lady Susani because we are still in tutorial land, so to speak. So, um, 
there will be some updates on how trading work and all that kind of stuff and I don't want to get involved with that when I have a few minutes left of the, my established timer so as for now, thanks for watching, take care, see you then, bye bye